hey, I'm on the side of a cliff. So I'm watching where I'm walking. I may have found one of the best campgrounds, free campgrounds, I've found in some time. Maybe even one of the top five of all times. I'm in uh, New Mexico. And, uh, yeah. It even comes with its own cliff. Take a look at this. This is a uh, uh, nature conservancy on the other side of that street. We're actually standing on BLM ground. Look at this view. Yeah, gorgeous. I believe I'm on the, just on the other side of that hill is a uh, vista viewpoint you can drive over to. It's supposed to be pretty spectacular looking the other side of that hill. Oh, look, a car. It's actually a van. One of the first ones I've seen in a while. I wonder if he's coming in here. Yeah, he's slowing down. He's coming in. This is a... Uh, this is a free campground, BLM. I think it's seven days. I'll have to look as I get out of here and uh, put up the particulars. What a great place. Came in here last night. Yesterday, I did uh, Winslow, Arizona, and also the Petrified Forest. I came in here kind of late yesterday, and being just south of I-40, this place gets used for overnighters quite a bit. And uh, you ever see that video clip? The funny one where two people are circling in a parking lot and they spy the last open spot and then gun for it. That was me last night. I mean, a guy saw the last spot available here, the last site, and uh, I didn't get it. Luckily, the uh, camp host spot was open, so I occupied that, got up this morning, and then everybody else kind of cleared out of here, and uh, I took the spot, or took a site. I think I'm a site 10. Yeah, look at this. Comes a nice big metal pavilion with uh, concrete, sturdy table, fire pit, grill. I think there's 10 sites here. There is garbage service and bear proof spots all over the campground. Down there is the, uh, yeah, there's a, there's two bathrooms. There's one with the backside of one down there. Pit toilets, I'm sure. I have not been in them. But everything is here is clean and new and free. Here, let me show you where we are. Let me come inside here. Uh. I got the map open. Yeah, I'm rendering. I'm rendering the Grand Canyon. It's a three-hour render. I was got up this morning, started the process, got ten minutes from being done, bumped the computer, and uh, turned it off. So now I'm restarted it, and uh, still got another hour and a half on the render. We are at Joe Skeen Campground, right down here. We're 60 miles west of Albuquerque and 10 miles south of I-40 on uh, 117. Across the street is the, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that, El Malpais National Conservation Area. It's on the other side of that street that I showed you. And uh, we're on actually BLM land here. It's a free campground. What a nice place, man. Um, just south of I four they were ten miles south of I forty, um, coming down, so it gets used for a lot of overnighters. Um, place was full when I got in here last night at six thirty or seven o'clock. I knew I was coming in late, but I wanted to stay as long as I could at the Petrified Forest National Park. Check out the last video for that. But um, so place was full, but by nine o'clock in the morning, there was only. You know, everything just cleared out. I think there's two sites still occupied. I took the third. So a lot of overnighters and uh, what a great place.
you know, usually you see these free campsites or free campgrounds and, uh, well, they're nice, but not as nice as this. This has got to be new or newly upgraded. So I guess I'll throw up some drone footage and get to the particulars and we'll drive around uh, the campsite or the campground as we exit. But, yeah. Joe Skeen Campground. What a great place. I looked at the map this morning and realized here at Joe Skeen Campground, it is a BLM campground, but it is completely surrounded by the, uh, the wildlife preserve here. And I don't believe I can do any drone. So instead of the drone, I'm just going to drive around the campground. We are at the end of the loop. It's just one big loop with 10 sites. And I'm just pulling out a site 10. And I am going to, I think I'm going to drive around the campground backwards. Just my luck. And I don't know what it is about me that I draw people. But I had a van come in, camp right next to me, not on a campsite. Not a big deal. This guy right here. He just kind of parked alongside the, the road. I get a lot of that. I don't know what it is about me. So we're driving backwards. Site 9 here on the left. Oh, there's a lot of vans. You can see the... Uh, little restroom, pit toilets, site, there's like three sites right in a row here. What would this be? Uh, eight, seven, and six, almost uh, considered a group site. Seeing how close they are to each other. Man from Minnesota. Site four. Boy, this is a nice truck camper over here. Site three. Wow, that is a nice one. I wonder if that's an earth roamer. That that looks like an earth roamer with a kayak on top. Nice. Site two. Guy already left. Site one. And I think I'm going to pull into this. No, no, no. I'm just going to keep driving. And that is the uh, Joe Skeen Campground. See if I can pull this off here. Down here, <laughs> because this gets so used overnight, we got a van over here, did the same thing I did, stayed in the camp host site. And another guy down here just boondocking just at the entrance. So you can see. Um, it's heavily used for overnights because you're so close to uh, I-40. Let me get out and get a quick shot of the uh, of the board here. Pause that if you want. Nas National Conservation Lands. Joe Skeen Campground. It is seven days. Yeah, so that's Joe Skeen. Ten sites and uh, apparently a couple overflow possibilities like this guy right here. He's just parked in a little turnaround at the at the entrance. Yeah, ten sites and uh, 13 campers. The only other thing I wanted to mention here is uh, this quarter mile, eighth of a mile driveway coming in that we're about to hit. 
um, go, going down to the main road. Looks like it was paved probably in the Eisenhower administration. And it's just got a, just enough pavement left to make it a really rough ride. So you want to take it really slow. In fact, I'm just going to stop here right here. The, the road's just right out in front of us. But if I zoom in, you see that, that cliff over there? I believe that is a, uh, a lookout. At least that's what it showed up on the map as. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm going to drive over there and see what it looks like. Then we're going to get on down the road and uh, see what today's going to bring. But you're going to have to check in next time to see, uh, see where we end up today. That's Joe Skiing Campground, free seven day BLM. Wow, I told you this was rough. Wow. Free seven day camping. I suggest you get here before 4 p.m. because that's when the scramble starts for, uh, it really fills up almost every night from travelers and then empties out in the morning. Okay, let's get down down the road. Okay, I did the quick little two mile drive to the other side of the road from the Joe Skeen campground. And uh, the sandstone bluffs, it's a day use area, so uh, no overnighting over here. But let's take a let's take a look. It looks like a couple different overlooks. Oh, nice view. Munition safety at El Malpais National Monument. U.S. military, oh, it used to be a uh, bombing range. <laughs> so be careful of live ordnance, I guess. Oh, this is nice. And uh, another, another cliff I don't want to step off of. Oh, cool. Yeah, what a neat little area over here. I like this one lone tree. Life always finds a way. God, when I was younger and into climbing, Back in the late 80s, this would have been one hell of a bouldering area. Oh, hell, not over there. You could do more than bouldering. I don't know if the sense of scale is going to show up, but that is a pretty good size over there. You could do some climbing. Those are trees up on top. Yeah, nice view. Sandstone cliffs. Yeah. Glad I made the little two mile trip over here. Of course, I do have to make Albuquerque this morning. The gas station I was hoping to get to is, well, I'm gonna be on pretty much fumes by the time I get to Albuquerque. But we're heading east. Yeah, oh, there's some serious, serious walls over there. Nice.
but we're gonna get on down the road. We're uh, gonna get most of the way across Texas today, across the Panhandle anyways. And uh, looking for another free campground in a national grasslands. See, uh, what does this say? Zuni Mountains. Off in the distance. Yeah, cool area. I can even see way off in the distance more cliffs to the south of us. Yeah, I wanna, I just wanna keep exploring. It's just such a cool formation of sandstone. I can tell we're at high elevation. All I'm doing is walking, but I'm breathing hard. Cool little bowl. <laughs> Talking about life finding a way. Yeah, that little guy's tenacious. Wow. Yeah, if you're going down 40, an hour west of Albuquerque, 10 miles south of 40 is this little area. And definitely worth the half hour to drive here and back. But as I was saying, we got to make east. I got my eye on a free campsite almost to the other side of uh, the Texas Panhandle. And I like to get to these places by 4 o'clock in the afternoon, 3.30, 4 o'clock. See if you can beat the other people and make sure you can get a site. Of course, there's always more sites to, you know, grab. But anyways, I do have an interesting place I want to hit next. Let's get on down the road before we hit our campsite. Well, if you're traveling across West Texas and uh, across 40, you're gonna come across a very well-known roadside attraction. Yeah, it's the Cadillac Ranch. Just a bunch of cars stuck in the ground. The wind out here in West Texas, of course, is blowing hard. So many coats of paint, there's stalactites. But it is really colorful.
I'm not one for graffiti artists, but that is pretty cool. Cadillac Ranch. Well, I made it um, to my last campsite of the trip. I am at McCullen Creek National Grasslands. It's about an hour east of Amarillo, Texas. Um, I'm still two 10-hour days from getting home, but I'm just going to power through, probably camp at a Walmart or, a, or somewhere, just a par random parking lot tomorrow night. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll flip you around. I'll show you the, the uh, campsite here. I found it on iOverlander. Here, let me, let, me, uh, let me show you. I'm up here on this real high bluff, so the wind is going to be atrocious. But, yeah. Very cool. Oh yeah, feel that wind. That was the road in. Actually, let's take a little walk. I didn't make it all the way to the cliff. The cliff is uh, just around the corner here. And the uh, Lake McDowell, McDowell, I think, campground I'll have a uh, I'll put it in here what the name of the campground over the side of this cliff is it's 10 bucks a night but I'm just gonna overnight so um yeah that's gonna work for me yeah I, I didn't really want to make it any farther down this little road here but the view is really cool Yeah, this is going to be the last camp of the trip. Like I said, just going to power through and get home in a couple days. Two 10-hour drive and uh, make it home. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, there's no way I'm going to get the ProMaster down here. That is really rough. Probably do it with a truck camper. Yeah, if you could get a truck camper here, that would be pretty spectacular. Now, there's supposed to be a lake. All that brown down there, that's supposed to be a lake. There's a little fishing pier and that, but the lake is long gone. Yeah, that's a, in fact, there's a dam over there. It's all dried. You can see the campground over on the other side of what a lake would be. Here's one, Class A. And that actually, I believe, is a camp host. Yeah, it's way too windy to uh, try to film anything out here. But what do you expect for the Texas? Let's uh, get back in the van here. So yeah, this is going to conclude the 2023 snowbird season. Um, it was a great trip. I believe it was like 102 days, maybe 100 days, just over 100 days total. I will do... Uh, a trip wrap up next time and uh, just go over some of the particulars if you uh, care uh, what else yeah and probably for the rest of the summer the uh, videos will be once a week so 
as uh, until uh, until next fall when uh, I start traveling again. So until next time, thanks for watching.